Welcome to Easy Freezer Meals. Today we're going to be making a Thai chicken green curry that's easy, spicy, delicious, and on its own, it's low carb. So let me show you how we're going to make it. In the description box below, I'm going to have the entire recipe. And for some of the unique ingredients, I'm going to put a link to where you could find them. But most of this can be found at your local Asian mart. That right there is an herb called culantro. But if you have cilantro, that worked fine. We also have red bell pepper and some sliced onions. I'm going to be using some sliced green onions as well. And then some diced zucchini. Let me share with you one of the unique ingredients we're going to be using in this dish. And this is a tree we planted from a seed we got from Thailand called the kaffir or the kaffir lime. And this is a staple in Thai cooking. It's not entirely necessary, but it does add a unique flavor that's hard to replicate. But like I said, totally optional. Let me also show you a few other optional ingredients. In addition to the lime leaves, we have fish sauce. And then whether or not you're looking to keep this low carb, you could choose to add or omit the brown sugar. For this recipe, we're not gonna add the brown sugar, but everything else is gonna go into the pot. So let me show you what we're gonna do. I'm gonna start off by putting some coconut oil, my green curry, and my sliced onions in a pot and cooking all of that together until the onions become soft. As soon as that happens, I'm gonna add my sliced green onion bottoms. Now we're gonna cook the bottoms. The tops are gonna be added at the very end and we're gonna stir that to combine until those soften and we're just gonna progressively begin to add each one of our vegetables. Right here, we're adding the zucchini. All of this is gonna be cooking on about a medium to a medium high heat and all we're doing is we're cooking this until the vegetables slightly start to soften. I don't wanna overcook them. Finally, we add the garlic and we just give it a couple more minutes. As soon as all of those vegetables are cooked, add your coconut milk. Now the way I do it, because we cook in these really huge batches, is I'll add half my coconut milk to break up that curry, get it well incorporated, and then I'll add the other half of the coconut milk to go ahead and finish off the dish. Now once you've added all your coconut milk, your dish is technically finished. Taste it, adjust for seasonings. Don't forget to add your kaffir lime if you're gonna be using that, your cilantro, culantro, and your green onion tops. This is where you get to add your lime juice, if you want it more acidic, you can add fish sauce if you want it more umami or salty. And let me show you what I do with this one last ingredient because now my curry's done, we're gonna put it to cool. I'm gonna add raw red bell peppers. I don't particularly like the texture of cooked bell peppers when they've been frozen and thawed. So I add raw bell peppers to the very end of the dish. The residual heat will cook them just enough so that when it's frozen and then thawed for you to eat, it retains a little bit of its texture. The meat I'm using in this dish is chicken thighs seasoned with a little salt and pepper, cooked it in the oven until the internal temperature got to about 175 or something like that. And green curry is technically vegan, so if you wanna omit the meat, if you wanna add more vegetables like cauliflower and broccoli, by all means, this dish is highly customizable. Once my chicken thighs were done, I just diced them up and set them to the side. I cook my chicken separate for portion control, but if you're gonna be adding your chicken to your dish, Brown your chicken in the coconut oil, that's the very first step, and then proceed with the rest of the ingredients. Add your curry, add your onion, so on and so forth. The way we do it is we'll package up our chicken first, we'll add our green curry sauce to the top of it, and then we'll vacuum seal it. If you are gonna be preparing this for a family, then store your green curry in any freezer-friendly container that you have, and you're good to go. And now it's time to see what one of these look like when we heat it up from frozen. So this Thai chicken green curry, let me tell you, it's spicy, it's flavorful, and by itself, it's low carb. And so all we're gonna do is we're gonna take that boilable bag and heat it up for about 20 minutes. After it's warmed through, go ahead and plate it up. And if you're gonna be watching your carbs, eat it as is, maybe with some cauliflower rice. If you're not on a carb restrictive diet, serve it with some jasmine rice and be sure to garnish your plate with some fresh salted peanuts. It really takes it to the next level. Be warned, this is a spicy dish, Thai chicken green curry. There you have it, an easy freezer meal. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Thanks for joining me on this episode. If you're new to our channel and this is the first video you've seen from us, we'd like to say welcome to the Easy Freezer Meal family. Check out some of our other videos. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. And while you're down there, give it a like and a share. And if you got anything on your mind, throw down a comment. See you next week.